Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to um, another Java tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about static and non-static. Um, you've seen this around before, you're actually looking at it right now. See if I highlight static. Now what on earth does static mean? Um, I'll be explaining that and I'll ex be explaining what non-static is. So there are two keywords in Java which I've been talking about a lot already, which are static and non-static. Now, static basically means non-changing, um, but I like to think about it as um, it can be accessed anywhere in the program and you can only have one instance of it. Now, I've already explained what an instance is, but as a review, an instance is basically a copy of an object. With static, you can't create a copy of an object. You can only have one of them. So I'll explain what I mean by that right now. So I have created two other classes besides our main class. So go ahead and create a sandwich class and a sandwich manager class. So if you can already tell, we're going to be creating a sandwich manager, which basically allows you to create as many sandwiches as you'd like, and you can monitor how many sandwiches you've created. So here's what we're going to do. Let's start off by going into the sandwich uh, no, the sandwich manager class. We are going to create an integer, um, but this is going to be a static integer, so you'll see what that means. So I'm going to write static int total sandwiches. All right, so at the very top of our sandwich manager class. Then I'm going to create two methods. I'm going to make a public static void method and what it does is it is called add sandwich all right and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to do total sandwiches plus plus so that will just add one to the total sandwiches then I'm going to create another public static int this time called get sandwich it's all right so basically what this will do is it will return the total sandwiches. Now I spelled that incorrectly, so let me just do that. Okay, so you'll notice if I type this dot total sandwiches, an error will occur. Now let me explain why this happens. That's because as I've explained before, static um, is basically one um, instance. So you can't have more than one sandwich manager you can't have more than one add sandwich you can't have more than one get sandwiches um, total sandwiches will be the same throughout your entire program so if you made a class um, somewhere way down the road which was basically like toppings or something you could make it so that you could get the total sandwiches existed throughout the entire program so that's great because if you have something really um, important that you need to track, for example, a certain amount of threads you have, then you could use static. So let's continue this. Let's go to the sandwich class, and we will write a public void method, and we will call this create sandwich. Now all this is going to do is it's going to go to our sandwich manager class, and it is going to call add sandwich, right? So let's do that. Let's go to create sandwich. And the way we do this is you may think we write sandwich manager man equals new sandwich manager. You don't do that with static. Um, all you do is write sandwich manager dot the method that you want to use. So two things pop up. We have our add sandwich and get sandwich method because both of these are static. So if we had non-static methods, these wouldn't show up. So let's click add sandwich. And that's all we need to do. So you'll see that we don't have any equals new, any of that kind of junk. We just have a simple, quick sandwich manager dot add sandwich. Now, once again, I'll tell you why I do that again. It's because there's only one instance of sandwich manager. You can't create a bazillion. You can't use sandwich managers add sandwich method um, over and over again in different objects. Um, so what I can do is I can create a new sandwich manager object. Um, sand equals new sand 
switch manager. Now this is just for an example because I want to show you what you can do and what you can't do. So I can type sand dot add sandwich. It is static so it's gonna underline it and it says it shouldn't be accessed like this. So that's why you shouldn't use static methods um, in objects like this. So I'll show you what you can do. Let's go back to sandwich manager and let's just create um, another one called public void do something right so you can go here and you can type sand dot do something because this is not a static method this is what Java wants you to do it does not want you to do add sandwich because sandwich is static obviously so just remember just remember if you want to access static um, methods you want to do it like this you don't want to create a new object so once again let's continue on let's go back to main and we have our main method as always so let's start doing something with this we want to create a bunch of sandwiches so let's create a for loop so for int i equals zero i is greater than let's say 30 i plus plus so we will create a bunch of sandwiches so let's write sandwich sand equals new sandwich and let's do sand.create sandwich. Alright, so this is correct because sandwich, the create sandwich method, isn't static, so we're supposed to access it like this. So once we've created a total of 30 sandwiches, you'll see something cool. Let's go ahead and print to the console. Let's do sysnotprintlin and let's do sandwich manager dot get sandwiches. So let's review um, what this is going to do. Um, actually, you know what? No, let's just run this. So I'm going to run this program. OK. And you see what it printed to the console was 30. Now let's review what just happened. We started off the program by creating 30 sandwiches. Now how did that happen? Let's say the first sandwich got created. What happened? First, it went to the sandwich class and it saw that we called a method called create sandwich. So, what it did was it went to the sandwich manager and it added a new sandwich. So, what does that do? Go to sandwich manager and we look at add sandwich. All it does is it adds one to the total sandwiches that are existent. So, basically, what that means is it started off at zero, but then it added one and then it added another one, another one, another one, until it got to 30. So let's go back to main. Once it finished that, it went and it printed out the total sandwiches we created. So that means it went to Sandwich Manager, and it found Get Sandwiches, and it returned the total sandwiches. Now, if this was a normal integer that wasn't static, then this would be 0 because it would be a new object, but since it's static, this integer stays the same throughout the entire program and allows you to access it throughout the entire program. So then once it found that there were 30 sandwiches, it went back to main and it printed 30, which was right here. So when does static come in handy? Static comes in handy many times, but should be used very lightly, and there's a reason for that. Um, in languages such as C++ um, and other procedural languages, basically everything is static. You don't have any objects. I mean, you do, but it's very rare. Um, but you only use them on rare occasions. In object-oriented programming languages like Java, you really want to use objects as much as possible. Um, if you are in an object-oriented mindset, your programs will be a lot more organized um, and avoids spaghetti code. So basically, you only use static when you really need to, um, because it's not as powerful as object-oriented programming can be, um, and it's easy to get addicted to static um, due to its really quick syntax. Um, so let me tell you an example in which static um, was used for me. In one of my recent programs, um, I needed to create something that watched the total amount of threads I created in my program. Now what is a thread? 
I will explain that in another tutorial. But basically, I needed to monitor these guys. So instead of just passing over an object throughout the entire program saying how many threads I had created, I decided to use static. Static allowed me to monitor how many threads I had throughout the entire program's life um, and was great because I didn't have to keep passing over, you know, an instance of, you know, thread manager or whatever. So there are great times to use static and then there are other times where you really should not use static. Um, but that is basically static for you. I know I've talked about a lot about it. Um, and non-static, I don't know if I went over this, but it's basically, you know, just objects. So that is it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.